Hey, y'all. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hey. There people. she is. Let me see. Let me get this right. Okay. Hey, y'all. We missed y'all last week. We took off a week for Thanksgiving. How was everybody's Thanksgiving? Very peaceful. My chat <laughs> up. Okay, so we have Rashina on, who is our special guest today. We have Tech, we have Stephanie, Danielle, Leah, Elizabeth, Stacy. Hey, Stacy. Jacqueline, hey. Kimberly, Keisha, Murda, Krista, Yolanda, Robin, Kawana, Deborah. Y'all are in the house. Look how look how pretty Rashina's looking with her makeup on. She's ready, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is that it's, it's the this is ring light. I just got a little gloss and um some some edge control <laughs> and some eyebrow stuff, but this ring light is popping. <laughs> she said, "This is the translation." Listen, y'all, this is my skin. Okay, yes, I woke up like today. this. That's the translation, right? <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right. So if everybody could do me a favor as we get ready to have Rashina on, if everybody could put their line on mute. And if you can, if you can, I understand some of you guys are at work, but if you can, if you could show your face, because as speakers, we feed off of being able to see that crowd, okay? So Rashina, if you wanna go ahead and take it away. Yes, yeah, so first off, I want to thank Ms. Coach Kelly and the Natural Girls Rock um, platform for this opportunity today. Um, I've been following Coach Kelly before she even knew it, um, especially with Natural Girls Rock. Um, I've been a part of the other end of Wisdom Wednesdays and had no clue in the world that I would be sitting here talking to a group of people. So I was just sitting here like, won't he do it? You know, because I had no clue that I would be in this platform. So I'm very grateful and humble for this. Um, so, yeah, so just to, you know, I just want to thank you, Coach Kelly and um, your Natural Girls Rock crew over there. Um, you guys are awesome, and I appreciate it very much so. Um, so as she said, my name is Rashina Mallory, a.k.a. Coach Rock. Um, I am a newly certified life coach. My niche um, for my corner of the world is work-life balance um, and leadership. Um, so for me, work-life balance is very uh, intimate um, area for me because I'm someone that worked a lot. Um, some people on this line that know me, they know um, how I gave it up in the day of, of the work um, field as far as just, you know, working so many hours a week. Um, so it's something that I, my mission that has been set on me um, is to basically inspire and lead people to pursue um, their goals and maintain a, work, a healthy work-life balance. Um, so I'm going to first say that this topic today for me, um, it, it came new, okay, because I was totally talking about something else, um, and I don't know how many believers we have on this line, but um, God definitely changed his whole storyline to continue to make me uncomfortable um, because it's also another area that I'm getting into with finances um, and helping, especially women, um, to, you know, become, get a better grip on their finances and stuff um, and how we look at money. Um, so I, you know, decide today, you know, let's, let's open up this conversation about um, emergency fund. And so just to getting into the topic. So today's topic is creating an emergency fund um, requires us to have balance. Um, and if you've noticed, there's a lot of little periods in between that word because I have created an acronym um, that that keeps me through any topic, of, you know, but especially through my finances. Um, so there was a time, you guys, and I'm gonna be very transparent because that's who I am and that's who we are on this Wisdom Wednesday. We are in a safe place to open up and have tough conversations that some people ain't having in their own circle, you know? Um, so that's why I appreciate this space and I try to join as often as I can. Um, 
but you know that work thing sometimes get in the way so we working on that um but um so for me you know there was a time where the emergency fund was just you know it wasn't something i was thinking about because i was all about lights camera action right so if it wasn't about lights camera action ain't no savings <laughs> you know what i mean like we gotta we got hair to get done if there's extra we got this to do we got that to do I was not thinking about, you know, securing, you know, anything, you know, I've, I've been blessed with people that try to whatever, but I'm someone who's been on her own from, you know, 15 going on 16. Um, I had my son, um, I was pregnant with my son at 21, who's 22 now. Um, so with me coming up, you know, you know, there was no conversations about money. So what, these are my conversations. And yeah, this is what I wanted to say too. This is a dialogue. So you can always jump into the chat and just, you know, if you agree with me, if you, if you hear me, just, you know, put it in the chat, you know, because I'm about to get really real. So when I was <laughs> younger growing up, we knew, I knew when we had money, cause you could tell. I knew when we didn't have money, cause you could tell. Um, I knew that um, you need to work to get money. Um, and I knew I come from a family line where you had to work really hard. So that's the most extent of, in my household that we really talked about um, money. It wasn't like, you know, we didn't talk about emergency funds or you need to have savings, you know, you need to have this, that, and the third. Those was conversations that just did not occur. Um, or I wasn't listening, but I don't recall any of that happening because um, I'm a great listener. Um, but just coming up, those those conversations just didn't have. So for me, you know what my emergency fund was, y'all? Y'all ready? Overdraft. That was my emergency fund. Um, so overdraft became a sister's best friend. Why did they even invent overdraft? I don't even know. <laughs> so. Um, so for me, it was nothing for me to go and, you know, pay this bill and buy that shirt, you know, or go do this and do that. Cause I wanted to do it all, have it all. I was someone that didn't want to look at prices. I was someone that if I wanted, I'm getting it. Um, and I didn't have a plan. I didn't have a strategy. I had no, you know, rhyme or reason to what I was doing, you know? So it was just, I was a mess y'all. And not even to mention, I did have a good, um, I did have a good career um, as far as, you know, I've been in a leadership role for many years. Um, you know, that OT always kicked in. So it wasn't so much that I had to do that. It's just that I realized as I was trying to dissect the poor relationships I had, I didn't, didn't pay attention to the relationship that I did not have with money. Um, I was, I was the person, um, and I can't find my BFF, but she's on here somewhere. Uh, but she can attest to, I would go in the store, pull up my card. I was, we used to laugh about it. I mean, we could laugh more today because it wasn't funny with the hole that I put myself into, but I would just swipe and not even look like, girl, we getting it. Swipe, let's get up out of here. It went through, let's go. You know, um, I was that person that, I never wanted to look at my bank account. Like I didn't even want to see what I didn't have or whatever. Um, it just, it frightened me, you know what I mean? Because it's like, I still got to pay rent. I got to do this. And then now you have kid. Yeah, I got a kid to take care of and stuff. So it wasn't until, you know, I had my son where I started being a little bit more, okay, I can't just keep living like this, you know? Um, but it took time. It took time. Um, so when it comes now down to, um, balance, <laughs> you know, um, and really thinking about balancing, um, this is where my acronym came in because I had to really dissect and understand what my relationship was money. I looked at it as, you know, a relationship that you have with, you know, your male partner, your female partner, who, whichever, you know, um, I, I sat here and said, I don't communicate with my money because what I did build the communication was getting a budget because once you have a budget that communicates what you can and can't do. I ain't like budgets because I don't like nothing telling me what I can and can't do. Uh, so I, you know, but it took like for me to really become aware 
So I want to break down this word balance um, and then, you know, bring you to where I am today. Um, and I definitely want to open it up for questions, dialogue, because this is a conversation. I'm sure I'm not alone when I say that my conversations with money just don't happen as often as it should, um, especially in my community, in my world, in my culture, you know, um, it's just something that you need to have it so you could do this that, and a third or you don't, you know what I mean? So that's just, you know, where I, where I come from with that. Um, so the word balance. So we're going to start with B in the A. So the first part, and if you have a pen and paper, because I'm trying to tell y'all, this has, um, it is that whole, this whole thing just changed me looking at things differently, um, is be aware that B and A stands for be aware. You have to be aware with your history with money. You know, you have to be aware with your culture with money. You have to be aware of how money even affects your household. And, and if you're not, and as you, as you heard, I was not aware of nothing. I was just swiping, doing, you know, I was just running them up. Um, but once I became aware that I'm like, I really don't know about money. I know we needed to buy things. I know we needed to survive, but I really don't, I don't, I never really looked at money as like a relationship and I'm not good in that department that well either, <laughs> you know, um, because money can ruin relationships. So, you know, if you get to the, you know, get to the root of where your history and where your disconnect or where your understanding came from with money, it does open up another light for you. It does put you in another space um, when you're conscious about it, when you're intentional about it, when you really want to know someone, you will take the time to get to know it. And that's how you have to view getting to know money, you know, period. You have to take that time to get to know it, know how it works for you, how you work for it. You know, you have to, it's a give and exchange type of thing. So I didn't know that though. So I had to be aware. Um, so that's something I advise you all to do is just get an awareness of where you're at financially, where you at with money. Um, and if you have children, because luckily I wasn't as bad <laughs> um, as he was coming up but I was still learning and growing, right? I was still trying to figure this thing out um, and make sure that he was taken care of and had the things he need as well. So um, he's definitely in a better position than I am, um, but we have to even be aware of that, that we have children that we have to guide and make sure that they understand um, as well. The next letter, L, we have to lighten up. And the reason why I say lighten up is because after you are aware of where you're at, we get hard on ourselves. You know, I went back and I, you know, I was sitting here like, oh my goodness, like I, I made so many wrong money choices, money moves. Oh, I could have been here if I would have did that. And you know what that happens? It keeps us stuck. So if you don't lighten up and give yourself grace when you're in that space, you have to give yourself some grace and say, I didn't know you can't, you can't, um, you can't, you know, come down on yourself for something that you didn't know, but you have to lighten up because the fact that now you're aware, you know, you're aware of what my issues are. I'm aware of where I went wrong. Um, and it's hard for us to face our, um, our own wrongs, right? It's, it's so hard to, to sit here and say you were wrong. It's easy to tell somebody else that they're wrong, right? So lighten up on yourself, lighten up. And that's the next A, and I'm gonna just break it all down and never carry everything. So I'm gonna run through it again. You need to be aware, you need to lighten up and never carry everything. That is the key that turned the lock for me because once I became aware and I gave myself some grace, some grace and lightened up, you know what I mean? It just said, you know what, it's okay. You know, you are where you are right now. At least you're in the know. You know where you are at right now in your space. Let it go. Because if you don't let it go, then you're going to stay stuck there. Because I did that too. I went back with that same will all over again and was just like, you know what? 
I can't say nothing. I can't, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what's the point? I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I'm missing out on this. I can't go here. Girls taking a trip. I can't go, you know? So it's kind of like, what am I doing all this for? You know, so because you already beat just, you keep continuously beating yourself up over past stuff. We can't do that. We have to move forward. So lighten up. And then when it comes to never carry everything, that means that, you know, for me, I'm someone that um, I'm a person of, I'm a giver. I am a servant leader. I am that person. Like, so everybody's issues, I will make them my issues. <laughs> you know what I mean? And when you are on a, on a path of your purpose and to take control over your finances, everybody's um, emergency is not your emergency. And even down to our adult children. So I might, I might have hit a nail somewhere with somebody, but even down to them, because they are our baby. We need to take care of them. We did that already. You know, um, if you're in this space right now, I already know what kind of hearts we have attracted in here. We are servant people, you know, um, and we are people that you know, give and give and give. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. But when you're giving and it's taken away from yourself, you can't be there with nobody else. You have to balance. You have to balance. So what that did for me today, what I would like to say today, um, I am someone that I don't even know the last time I overdraft, y'all. I'm sitting here like, I want to try it out. Can I still overdraft? But I'm not going to do that. I'm joking. I'm joking. Because I went through a whole, I went through two banks. People wouldn't even take me. I, I'm a part of Bank of America who rejected me years ago. Like, I didn't even know you could get rejected from a bank. Okay. <laughs> so I learned that, you know, the hard way. Um, I, I, right now I have two savings accounts. Okay. I'm on my way to my third Okay, I have two checking accounts. I had to, I learned this thing of money. Am I a millionaire? No, but I am in a better position than I ever have been in my life. And that's all because I became aware, I lightened up and I stopped carrying everything, you know? So I had to keep telling myself that's not yours to carry. You know, that is, you know, we can give people the tools but that don't mean we have to keep handing over the funds. Because sometimes we keep repeating, we enable people by just keep bailing people out, keep helping, keep, you know. And if you're trying to create something, it will definitely be taken away from you just because you don't have your balance in check. And I'm not saying to get off this line and say, I ain't helping nobody ever again. But when you're aware and you're conscious and, you know, and you're woke, you know when to step in and you know when to, you know, step back. Because even down to our, and that's why I keep bringing our kids because that's the closest thing to us. So anything outside of that, it's like if they, if my son ain't getting it, ain't nobody else getting it either. If I'm trying to teach him something, then I have to teach everyone something because of, of me being a servant leader, the more money that you are able to create and create some type of generational um, you know, wealth, um, for your family, it's going to, it's going to triple effect to everyone that you love anyway, right? Because you're not going to keep it all for yourself. You know, you're going to, but you have to get yourself in that position to even be in the ring to do that. So, so now, so I know I got some people that know me on the line, a couple people. No, I don't have extra money like that, y'all. I'm just trying to, because <laughs> guess what? I don't lend out that money. The money that I have, it is, when I say emergency, it's from my understanding and my awareness of what an emergency is now, because an emergency for me before used to be um, going to get that um, that bag. That was an emergency because I was going out and it matches these shoes or these sneakers or, you know, th those were my um, petty um, emergencies. Now, no. I'm very stern on it. My boundaries is set up um, and I have regained, I have a better relationship with money than I, I have in my 
male female relationship in my romantic relationship but you know what you have to be strong in that area for that to even fall on suit you know because somebody else can come in and ruin your whole money trajectory okay change the whole direction of your money just because it will bound you up to not you know make poor choices um so I just, I wanted to, this is something that is near and dear to me. I'm actually in a pursuit now of actually becoming a financial um, advisor, um, a financial coach. Um, I, and I didn't plan for this job, but like I said, I'm someone that spends time with God. He speaks. And if you listen, he will, he will move your whole direction without you even knowing if you're listening. So, and I'm listening. So that's why he changed this whole game for me today to come out, out here um, to speak on this show today. Um, and I do want to open it up because I, you know, I like to leave time for dialogue. I'm not into monologues. I like to have real conversations and, you know, let's get to it. I want to open up the questions. I know someone has sent in an email with some questions. I don't know who it was, but I would love to start um, I would love to start with you um, and we can we can um, get some conversation going before, you know, it's time to get up on the line. Uh, did she freeze on you guys' end? Oh, am I frozen? No. Yeah, we can hear your voice. Yeah, but you're frozen. Froze on my end. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's fine because your voice didn't freeze. Oh, that's exactly. Good. We already saw how pretty you're looking. We just want to hear the gem so we can hear your voice. So it's all good. Okay. Good, good, good. Welcome here. That's how we do, you, right? You the froze with a with a good here. face too. It's not it's not you know, <laughs> Thank crazy you. looking faces. <laughs> yes, because you know, nine that. times out of ten it is. It stops on that face and it's like, Lord have mercy. <laughs> no, we didn't do that. <laughs> all right, so thank you so much for that, Rashina. I like that that B A, that be aware. Look at your history, look at your culture, look how that, that money and that balance or imbalance rather affects your household, okay? Um, and then lighten up, just lighten up and then never carry everything. You can't, uh, you can't take on everybody's everything because sometimes that just makes you an enabler in money mm -hmm. and in other areas. And I love how she said, you have to come to a point where you redefine what is an emergency. Now, as adults, we get to pick our own emergency. And at one point in her life, she said, having that outfit for Saturday night was defined as an emergency for her. But the older and the more mature she got, she realized that is not an emergency because that's putting me in a financial bind next week. But at the time, she wasn't thinking about next week today. I think that she would be in excellent excellent financial coach Rashina because you've been there and the people that will be helping you out of that who you will be helping out of that space are there now and one thing about becoming a really good coach for those that have ever even thought about you know going along that path one thing that you have to be able to do is be transparent in where you were okay yeah. Nobody has it all together. I don't care who it is. Nope. We all were crafted by the good hands of the good Lord. If you're here, I already know that you, that you, you're likely a believer. If you're not sorry, not sorry. Amen. Hey, you put an amen on top amen, of that. Amen, amen. Amen. Right. But we're all the same. Some of us make more money than others. Some of us might be, you know, slimmer than others. Some of us might be thicker than a snicker in a good way <laughs> than others. Some of us have long hair. Some of us, are, of us have short hair, but we're all the same. At the end of the day, all of our blood is red. We're all the same. So nobody gets to be better. Don't look at people as better than the other, but it, it's, it's looking at the core of what, what it basically takes to succeed at your financial balance and independence. And mm -hmm. she was able to, to share with us how she was there 
and how she's not there now and how she got all the way to a place where a bank wouldn't even accept her. Banks aren't in the business of not accepting people. I ain't know, Coach Kelly, that you could be denied, okay? I was so hurt. This is my first time hearing it. But what's more, I didn't know that either. But what's more, but that's why I'm so hyped and so intrigued about it. Because that's not where we focus. We focus on what you did and where you're at now to have accounts, plural with an S, right? Yes. Counts. So that means accounts, <laughs> plural with an S. Okay, let's keep it real. So what that means is she has figured out a path of how to pull herself out of a place, but she hasn't gone so far with it that, that she forgot where she came from. That's a good coach. That is somebody that can help you. Mm-hmm. Okay, because she's not, she's not being uppity and has her nose in the air about the person that says, I don't even know how I'm gonna eat today. <laughs> I don't I don't know how I'm going to pay rent and it's the 30th of the month she understands that I paid $30 for a breakfast sandwich because of me not being aware yes yes honey I see some faces like what, what? yes and it's, it's because of my unconscious behavior and not I thought I had, you know, the $2 and some change in there, but guess what happened? My good old emergency fund overdraft, they couldn't, dec- they couldn't decline that $2, you know, they let me get the $100 item, but when I would swipe for a $2 item, you know, they couldn't even give me grace in that space. And they tried, I spent $30 on a breakfast and that, it wasn't even that oh, good, okay. y'all, I was so mad. Yeah. And I wanted to bring it back to them. Hard. Yeah, it's a thirty dollar charge if you overdraft. So if you got something for yeah, I, I've been in that situation too, and and you know Sheeny, she hit on some valuable valuable points. You got to define what your relationship is with your finances. You know, like she said, culture you know plays a part. You know, we didn't have that growing up. The talk of saving your money. So you know, like like herself. I didn't have no relationship with no money with my money. I I did, you know, came and it go, come and go, you know. Um, but in the now, you know, I'm seeing that, you know, saving and you know, and and credit is important and you know, all of these different things. So, you know, kudos to you, Sheeny, because it was definitely this conversation was definitely needed, girl. <laughs> Well, it's glad. definitely, definitely um, needed. But this is the thing, guys. You can't, you can't act like the issue is not an issue. If it's an issue for you and you're, you're here today, don't act like the issue. Don't let pride keep you stuck right there. Right, because pride will keep you stuck. Pride I, will keep I, you stuck. Being honest with yourself, you know, and, and accepting that, you know, okay, this is really a problem and I want to change. I want better for myself. I don't want to continue to be in debt, you know, and, and things like that. You know, you have to be, you have to be honest with yourself. Yes. Awesome. So does anybody, before we wrap it up, does anybody have any questions for Rashina? Okay. So Rashina, I know that this topic is something that can be quite- I had, I had a question, uh, Sister uh, Coach Kelly. Okay. Um, Rashina, this is Jacqueline Hernandez, and thank you so much for um, letting me share in your uh, experience through your transparency. You actually have inspired me to uh, to be a little bit more. I'm very closed uh, in terms of some of the things that the Lord has been pushing me to share, but I'm just like, I don't really want people in my business. So I, I've been... Uh, my, I've been a little convicted over here and been saying out silently. So I just <laughs> wanted to say that. Um, but what my question was is once you make that paradigm shift, how do you, how can I put this? Oh, mm, I don't know why I'm getting emotional, but how do you get your family members to still know that you still love them and cherish them? Um, and it's not, personal or you getting uppity or you getting funny acting because you at a different level of consciousness or whatever whatever how do you um 
how do you bring them along or maybe if not bring them along, uh, really adapt your relationship with your siblings, your nieces, nephews. Uh, in my case, I don't have any biological children, but I, I have participated in spoiling, raising, and in, in parenting a whole lot of other folks' children. And, uh, and, and as well as my siblings um, helping them. And I, I just want to know, how do you make that shift in terms of your relationship? That yeah, I hope is, I articulated uh, awesome. It. Awesome, awesome question. And I have to tell you, that is the one of the most, that's why that never carry everything. You know, I say it real quick because that is something that you're going to encounter, you know, no matter what, but for you, and that's why I said, we're sitting here because we have that servant in us. You know, we are givers by nature um, and they know that. Don't think they don't. That's why they know to come to you. They know yep. you're going to, I have that same pillar. And I'm going to tell my sister, don't even speak. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm right not now. saying the word, Sheenie. I'm just going to let you. Thank you. So um, we are I'm dealing good. with it. It's live and direct. You understand? But guess what? I stand firm on my word because I am aware. I, I, have, a, I have a purpose. You know, God has a direction for me. And I know what I'm doing eventually my nieces, nephews, my family, my child, you know what I mean? They will eventually benefit from it. I, it, you know, it depends on, you know, what it is, you know, like, it, uh, you know, we would have to talk a little bit more because I know we're, we're running out of, of time too, but I would just definitely say that if you know where your heart is, if you're, if you're coming from a good place in your heart, you don't worry about how everybody else perceives it. You still love them. <laughs> That's their problem. You know what I mean? That's not your problem. And I had to say that to myself because I'm going through the most, and this is another topic for the day, I'm going through the most craziness with my own child, adult child, okay? And that's where tough love comes in because guess what? He ain't going to make me cut down an account to three accounts, two accounts. You know, you're 22 now and I'm still going to be there for you but I'm not draining all my assets and, and just going back to where I started um, because I'm trying to create something, you know, for the future. So you just have to stand strong and, you know, stay in that word, you know what I mean? And, you know, you keep your head high and they will get over it. I, I've been going through it, um, I would say the last two years. And even through them two years, I still opened another account. Because guess what? Ain't nobody stopping my money. Okay. <laughs> there ain't nobody stopping my money. Um, and 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 this I can say that because I'm not a stingy person. You know, there's some people that's just keep everything to themselves. I know that's not me. So I'm not worried about how other people um what they feel and if they don't think, you know, I'll still reach out the same way, but we ain't talking about money. Because you want to talk about money, we go, I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? It's like I got to go. People have birthdays, there's the holidays is coming up, you know what I mean? I don't even do all that no more. I used to go overdraft, broke to the, listen, I ain't doing it, but I love them all. I love them. So I hope that helped a little bit, um, but you just, it, it's something that we're, you're all gonna face. It's something that we all are facing, but it's just a matter of you're going to let them take you there or you're gonna stand tall and stand on stand on your square. That's what that's my saying, I'm standing on my square. I made a decision and that's the decision that I'm making. And I still help. So don't get me wrong. I still help, but it is that a whole day. They ain't used to how I'm feng swaying right now, but they will appreciate it once they, um, when they get older, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm talking about young twenties, mid twenties, you know, come on. They, they going to be there too, you know? So. I love it. I love it. Can y'all give me a moment? Thank you for question. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Honey. That's so awesome. I love the question. I love the answer. I want to take it just a little deeper. Um, and for those of you, I know that we're over time. So for those of you that have to go, I understand you can go, but I cannot leave this right here with where we're at. I cannot do it because this is the thing. What, what Rashina is talking about is breaking generational curses. Amen. That's what she's talking about. Yes, 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 yes. In order to be the one 
in your family that takes on that, that torch of becoming the generational curse, that is heavy. That is big, it's hard, it's not easy. But in order to change the lineage of the relatives that are coming behind you, are you with me? Mm -hmm. Somebody's got to do it. And the most, most of the people, and I'll go ahead and say it, most of the people that look like us, they don't want to be the one. Number one, you have to be woke enough to be doing it. Listen, stay woke. Get woke first. Yes, amen. <laughs> get woke first and then stay woke. But they have to be woke enough to do it. And then if you get to the point where you are woke enough to do it, you have to be willing from a mindset perspective to be able to um to be able to be okay with the backlash that's gonna come from family. They're going to talk. It's exactly what Jacqueline said. It, you're uppity. Oh, you don't got brand new. Or you changed. Oh, you know, now that you got you a little money. You, all the things. Ask me how I know. Okay. It, that's, just what, that's just what happens. And like she said, we're givers. If you're here and you follow either Natural Girls Rock or you follow my coaching platform, Coach Kelly J., you see that we are givers. That's 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 who we were stitched together and designed to be. So it's 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 even though we're woke, it's also hard for us to say no when we see someone in need of something. Absolutely. We have to find the balance of saying no but still caring and and the balance of those two things and the balance of but am I going to be the one? To, to break this to break this generational curse, all of those things. And then when you go to sleep at night, is your mindset strong enough to know you did the right thing? And is your mindset strong enough to realize that doing the right thing doesn't necessarily mean that everybody has a smile on their face today? Doing the right thing means that you're taking care of it in the long run. So that when Rashina's son has a family of his own and has grandkids of their own, they'll know not even to come out of the side of their neck asking somebody for a thousand dollars for a pair of shoes that they just okay. have to have, right? Okay, exactly. Okay. Okay, they'll, they'll know not even to do that. That's not even an option. Because if you want those shoes, it's not that they're inaccessible. It's not that they cost too much because the price of people's stuff is the price of people's stuff. But if they want to access it, they'll know that they have to work for it because that's what they've seen. It's up to you guys to change the reality of what your family members expect from you. They won't keep coming to you and expecting a yes if you don't keep giving a yes. Absolutely. Now that said, there is a season when the in-between season of, when she said no last month, I'm gonna see if she said no this month. There's still that season and you have to be strong. It's just like when you break up with somebody and you, you know, it's cold at night and you want to see him and he's calling, talking about, can he come through? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. I just yes. want to see you. I miss you. Then he's sitting on the couch. Next thing you know, he's slipping his shoes off. You got to be able to see. Be aware. Be aware. <laughs> see, right? Be aware. Be yes. aware. Uh, be aware. So Jacqueline and everybody else, when, when your family comes around you and you see they're slipping their shoes off, metaphorically speaking, you know where it's trying to go. If they call you and they're talking about, hey, how you doing, blah, 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 blah. So is this your pay week? You know, you know when it's going there. Rashina says she gets off the phone. Yeah, with the quickness. With That's the, the go. <laughs> right? So Rashina, how can, how can you, um, how 
can people reach you after this? How can people work with you if they if they want to? Because I know, like I was saying, uh, some people are not going to just out and out ask a question out and out say anything, say something because this is a sensitive issue. But I imagine with 20 something people being on here that somebody is dealing with this. Absolutely. Um, so I just, so I have created a freebie because I, I, I do believe that, you know, from this platform, cause I knew we were on minimum time, um, that I'm, I'm, I'm challenging you all to challenge yourself, um, you know, and what your beliefs are, you know, with, with money. Right. Um, so with that challenge, I have created a freebie um, for a money challenge. Um, and while you're doing this, you can see if, see what still serves you. If it don't serve you no more in your money, then you need to let it go. If it does serve you, then, you know, you need to keep it. So that's how you have to dissect it when you're looking at, um, at, at this, this challenge. So it's all, not only, it's only $500 savings challenge. It ain't no deadline. It's with you. And I created it and it has some quick tips and stuff to get started. It's something that could be made, you know, fun. It's something that you could do with your family, it's something to give to them daggone adult children. Cause um, the ones in my family, they getting it. Um, Cause I want to see where you at with your challenge first before I know what I'm doing just to get them, you know, um, in that right direction. So it's something that can be used um, however you like, you know, and where you're comfortable at, because you only know where your, where your finance is at, but be aware when you're doing your saving, when you know what you can save and when you know what you can spend, because it'll help you save when you're more conscious um, in doing it. Um, I do have a, a website, um, which is under, it's under construction. However, I do have um, a platform there where you could subscribe to get the um, freebie to join um, the Today I Am Becoming community. Um, so I, I have a lot of things coming up um, in the new year. Um, I have um, some free workshops that will be coming up. Um, so you could also follow me at, um, on Instagram at Today I Am um, Coach Ra. Um, I have um, my partner over here in crime. She's going to put in the chat um, my um, the website. All you have to do is pop in um, your, your you know your name and your email. It'll bring you just to that page so that you can get that freebie with um, different links and stuff. Um, and that way we can stay connected. Um, I also have a um, on my Instagram page. I I am doing some free um, discovery calls. So I have like a book now link on my Instagram um, and you could check that out. Um, if anyone wants to, you know, um, further this conversation um, and to just hear more about what I have in store for 2021. I'm very excited and I appreciate um, everyone today um, joining. And I know it's a, it's a subject that we need to talk about more. And that's what my Today I Am Becoming community is about because we are all trying to become our best selves. Um, and I'm in the race with y'all, you know? I have definitely broken some obstacles and challenged some things, but like Coach Kelly said, that we learn, teach, and grow together. So. Um, so that's, that's what we're all about. Um, and that's it. So do we have the, um, the website is in there? Yep. So the website is in there. You can, um, you could definitely just go to that, pop in your name, email, and it will be sent right to your, um, email address. And then you could be a part and stay connected with me and hear about what's coming down in 2021. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I just have one quick last question and I just, just so I'm clear and everybody else is clear. So you can help people who are in that financial situation now, but you can also help people who are not necessarily in that financial situation, but their family members are pulling on them because they're the one with the money. Amen, uh, amen. That well, whole gamut. 
Right. Okay. So my coaching program that is coming out, um, I'm in the midst of working on it, um, is actually called Challenging Every Obstacle, CEO in Life, which is, th- which is challenging every obstacle. It covers the family boundaries. It covers that health side of things. It covers the financial piece. Um, it, it, it encompasses so much, and it definitely digs deep into redefining um, it's really the business model approach that I use for the program um, and for like what you would use for a business. You have your mission. You have your, your mission statement because you got to know who you are first before you go out here, you know, what you stand for first before you start doing X, Y, and Z. So, um, and even before you start this challenge, I ask you all to get in that space of being aware, you know, to just, you know, because that's where you're going to define where you need to be. Uh, with your money. Um, and also it's going to come out, other things will come up. Just like Jacqueline said, she knows what's coming up for her. When you talk money, everything, other things come up. So my program was, um, is being put together to encompass all that. So by the end of it, you ain't even, um, you ain't worried about nothing. <laughs> you just live in life and you're, you're, you're just going to, um, you know, put your best foot forward and keep it pushing because we don't have time to get held up with um, everybody else's feelings because we have our own and that we're carrying everyone's emotions, feelings, how they feel, how to, you know, it's enough for that. But I'm going to be quiet because Coach Kelly, you already know I go on a whole tangent. I wish this was an hour, but I do have some workshops coming up and I will be definitely putting that out on my, um, to whoever subscribes and I will definitely promote it on my Instagram um, and those type of things because these are conversations that is, is time that we have. So, so That's thank you all. Am I still frozen? I can't even wave. And I'm still frozen. Jeez. <laughs> but okay. we got to do Thank you so much, Rashina, for bringing this, this conversation up. That's what we do here. We sit at the table each week. We shake the table. We have conversations that matter, conversations that get and keep us woke. And this was definitely one of them. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Be the generational cursor and go and sign up with Rashina and see how you can be that person in your lineage, not just in your life, in your lineage for your family. Yes. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.